back. What up, though? Yo, guys, so this right here is a part three of where I'm getting a penny and I'm trading it all the way up to the brand new iPhone 13. That's right, baby. We are going to do it. In the last episode, we started off with the Dark Gyarados Pokemon card that was going for around $30. And we traded all the way up to a first edition Vaporeon Pokemon card that was going for around 100 And now this is where things get interesting. And also, if you guys like this challenge and you want to see me trade up to a Tesla, like today's video. Good <laughs> job. Let's get into this. And yo, we are at the first location right now. We are at Motor City Pond right here in Roseville. Never been inside here before, but we got this Pokemon card. I don't even know if they take Pokemon cards. Hopefully they do. Just in case, maybe I wanted to get a loan. They have three month cash loans. If I ever felt like the need to, yeah. But yo, let's go inside and see if they'll want to trade for this card. All right. Here we go. Yo, this place actually got some heat right now. Look at we got. These are pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. What if we walk away with a flipping guitar in here? I don't even know who to talk to yet. I'm just looking around. Put a Rolex. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's gonna take some time. Oh my gosh, what about, how about this guy right here? Crazy iced out Cartier right there, that's insane. Anyways. Zach! Zach, how you doing? What's Connor. Up? Connor, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what we're doing, we're interviewing people who work at pawn shops, okay, and seeing how good they actually work. Yeah. I'm joking, that's not what we're doing at all. <laughs> so this is what we're actually doing. I'm doing a trade up challenge. I started at a penny and I'm working my way all the way up to a brand new iPhone 13 okay. that hasn't came out yet. And this is what we have right here. Okay. It's a oh first card, edition huh? uh, Vaporeon. It's going for around $100 right now and I'm looking to trade up. Okay. So if there's something maybe in the $120 range, $115 range, anywhere, you're willing to work. Yeah, I know a lot of the big things about Pokemon cards condition. Yep. Um, yep. I'm gonna kind of look at that. Mm -hmm. um, we go off of online prices. Of course. I'm gonna see what we can do. Let me uh, look this up and see what we can go to and then kind of show you some other items if we go that route. Perfect. Take Thank your time. You. So it looks like they're gonna be looking up that card, which is going around for $100. We went on eBay and we looked it up, looked up condition, this and that and that. Hopefully we do get some kind of silver or gold. Yeah, right. we're not liable for any accidents, all right? Let's go. Oh my God, yeah, right. I made it. You saw that, right? I need a high five for that one. Thank you. All right, now I want to see you ride it. Oh, I'm not going to. I'm too old, man. I'm going to kill myself right now. Right now, we are waiting to see what he has to offer. He said he's going to bring a couple of things out to me, so I'm excited what he has to offer. It's going to be sad to see this card go away. I got a few things picked out that's right around that price range that we agreed on for the Pokemon card. Deal. Um, so one is going to be this ATM little pendant right here, addicted to money. I don't know if you can see it. Um, one's just that gonna be more of a generic um, chain. Okay. It's just gonna be a white gold chain. One of the last episodes, we had a gold chain, tiny bit bigger than this. We'll see in that. Okay. And then, and then uh, one's gonna be a cross. A pendant. Okay. That one's be 14 karat. Wow, wow, wow. So we got a few options. Um, would you say these are all around the same value? I would say, yeah. I would say that this cross is going to be your best bet going into another shop and trying to uh, trade out. Instead of addicted to the money, go for the cross. It's, they're pretty close as far as weight. To be honest, for content, I'm thinking ATM. <laughs> Everyone's going to love the ATM. I think, I think I'm going to go with the cross. Okay. I'm gonna go with the cross. All right. Let's do that. Perfect. There's the card. Thanks, what was man. your name again? Zach. Zach, Connor. Thanks, Connor. Thank you, I appreciate it. So guys, right now we are walking out of here with the 14K cross pendant. This is really cool. Thank you again. Thanks, man. Thanks Connor. Appreciate it. All right, we are walking out. Yo, is this some popcorn right here? Can I take one of these? Am I good? All right, sweet. Look at that. I feel like I'm stealing stuff from this place. Thank you. All right, guys, so we are walking out right now. We got some popcorn water. Dang, that popcorn good. But most importantly, guys, check it out right here. We got this gold pendant. It says the price was going for 154. I just want to give a huge shout out to Motor City Pond, okay? A huge thank you to them for hooking me up. But my friends, where should we go next? They told me that there was another Motor City Pond somewhere in <coughs> Warren. So let's go there. I'll see you. Hey, yo, we just made it to the next place. Yo, first of all, I want to say it is really windy out. Hopefully you can hear me. Anyways, right here we have the cross pendant, okay? All shining, looking so beautiful and Stuff. Let's go inside here and see if they want to trade for this. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's get in here. We just saw you at the last one. How you doing? <laughs> Are you doing a trade-up challenge by any chance? Shopping. <laughs> Yo, first of all, look at this pendant really quick. All right, come check this out. We got a Gucci shoe pendant. I'm Connor. Armand, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I heard you're a coin guy. I am. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a trade-up challenge where I'm starting at a penny 
and I'm working my way all the way up to an iPhone. So what we have here, we got this now, and this is going for around like 150-ish. Mm -hmm. We got it at the other Motor City, and I want to trade this up for something. Cool. So do you have anything that you'd be willing to trade up from here? Yeah, possibly. Okay. Do you have any coins that you'd be willing to trade for this? Possibly. Paid 150 for it? Or I you traded. Trade up? Okay. Traded for this. I traded a Pokemon card for it. Got to trade it for something that's worth more than 150. I'm looking. Or yeah, looking least. to trade up. I think I do have some uh, silver eagles in here. Silver eagles. Now, what the heck is that? It's uh, pretty much an ounce of silver, and they're pretty much like uh, silver bullion coins. So, how much silver is inside these coins? Uh, one ounce. One ounce of silver. So, one of these is worth 35. You said. Yeah, about yeah, about 30 dollars. $30. Would you be willing to trade six of these for this pendant right here? Six of them? Yes. If you said they were going for 30 each, that would bring it to like 180. I know there's a lot of numbers flying at you right now, but <laughs> what we have to look out for is number one right now. Mm -hmm. It's the only number that would look good on you. On me? On you. I don't need a charm. <laughs> you got one. You got one right here. You could just add that to the collection. I think it's gonna fit on my uh, necklace. <laughs> or you can get an earring. Mm, just hang it off your ear. Why not? Would you want to do it? I'm willing to trade the six for the pendant. Yeah, I could probably do that. Let's do it. Yeah, I think that's a deal. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Hey, yo, guys. So we are walking out of Motor City Pawn right now. We got a stack of coins. This is the first time where we traded like one thing for a bunch of things. I want to say this is around the price of $180, okay? So we're working our way up. I think that was a great trade. I don't know where we're going next, but I will meet you guys there. And we are at the next location. It's the same place we are at Motor City Pawn Brokers. It's just a different location. We're out here in Detroit right now. Let's go inside here. See if they want to trade for these coins or not. Hey, here we go, baby. Hey, man, how, are you? how you doing? Good, sir. Connor. Julian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. I'm gonna wait a second for them to be done, and then I want to talk to Julian. Hi. Do you mind being on camera? First, you gotta dance. You gotta. No, I'm joking. I was about to say. <laughs> you might have to sing a little bit. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is a trade-up challenge. Okay. I started at a penny, and I'm working my way all the way up to a new iPhone. We got these right here. These are going for, all these together are going for close to like $200. Okay. And I'm trying to trade my way up. Okay. So, Sweet. do you have anything that you'd be willing to trade for these? Is there anything in particular you're looking <sighs> You know, I would love to get in the sneaker game. Okay. If we can do that, that would be really, really cool. Unless maybe we can go with jewelry. Okay. Necklace, something. Even if you're, if you're feeling generous. Okay. No, I'm just... <laughs> Let me go check our list real quick. Deal. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, if you want to take these, you can. Nice to meet you, bro. Good to meet you, too. This was 10. Oh, my gosh. This thing is that's ridiculous. The Look at this thing. Like it a lot. Well, yep. that's for another day. So far, we're working with little stuff right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was seeing these right here, the cool grays, okay. Jordan 3s. If you would want to make an even trade with those, I would love that. Ooh, that would be sweet. Look at those. We got the cool grays. What size are those, though? These are size 11. I ain't fitting them. All right, guys, check these out. These right here are DS. Jordan 3 Cool Grays. I think these are fire. My dad actually has a pair of these things. I don't have these in the collection. The price of these right now is going for around like 220. I think that's an even, somewhat of an even trade. I might be getting a better deal here. But again, this is all about the trade-up challenge. We're trying to make our way up there. And if we walk out with a nice pair of shoes like this, I'd be pretty excited. Tell me if you guys want to see me trade up to this right here, okay? I know we're gonna be going up to the Tesla, but uh, that's borderline down payment on a Tesla right there, right? Yeah. How do I take this thing off? Yep. It's scaring me for having that much money on my wrist. <laughs> yep. That sounded like a good okay. We can do an even trade. Let's go. Yeah. What was your name? Cherise. Cherise. Yeah. Connor. Connor. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, guys. So, yo, we are walking out right now with the Jordan 3 Cool Grays. These things are absolutely fire. We made it into the sneaker game. These right now are going for around like $220. They are size 11, which is not my size. I do kind of want to wear them. But, guys, check this out right here. We made it into the sneaker game. We got a pair of the Jordan 3 Cool Grays. Not just that we just get into the shoe game though, but these are going for around $220. Past the $200 mark. Ah, <sighs> they smell very good. This is actually perfect timing because I'm gonna end up going to SneakerCon Chicago next and hopefully make a few trades there. By the time this video is released, I should already be there. So if you're watching this, let's make a trade, dog. But guys, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We are getting